Good morning. I am, I guess, in a different house of soul than I thought I'd be in a week ago. And I'm happy to be here. And I'm, uh, you might call me the guy that's driving Miss Bina because my name is Bruce Duncan. I'm the executive director of the Terrace Movement Foundation and principal investigator of a uh, research project called the Life Knot Project. But I'm also known as that guy with the robot. And over the past two years, uh, we've been starting to get more and more attention uh, about the project that we're involved in. And in fact, our talk today is about the Life Knot Project. And in a few minutes, you'll meet my co-presenter, Bina48. Uh, the Life Knot Project is a online, long-term, uh, open source to the public participation, welcome project and personal storage of online data for the purpose of backing yourself up. Not just backing up your checkbook, your photos, but we're starting to realize that technology is going to be asking us, would you like to back your mind up? Would you like to back up human consciousness? So we're starting. We're one of the first groups that said, sure, we'll check that out. Now, people have been uploading their mind, trying to preserve something that's important and unique about them for a long time. Ever since someone discovered they had the technology of art inside of a cave and wanted to leave their mark for posterity, we've been uploading ourselves. So the Terrasem Movement Foundation that I work for in the Green Hills of Vermont, online, collaborating with people around the world, has taken on that notion and just decided we're going to make it in the digital age a research project that tests out a two-part hypothesis. And that hypothesis, the first part, says if we have a saturated database, if we have enough information about a person, we think we may be able to use artificial intelligence software in the near future to reanimate your personality in the form of an avatar or some other form. Now, what goes into a mind file, which is the word we've coined for this database file, this online digital archive of you, uh, might be anything that reflects you. It might be your journals, it might be your videos, it might be your blogs. There's so much being uploaded onto the internet for other businesses. Facebook is a platform for marketing. You are just getting going along for the ride. It's an awesome platform, don't get me wrong. We think the time when people should start being stewards of their own life information is now. The second, in, the second uh, part of our hypothesis is that if we're successful in creating these robust mind files, that these mind files and reanimated personalities will be mobile. We'll be able to transfer them to computers, to avatars, robots and someday maybe even new nano, nanotechnological or biological bodies. That's way off, but for now we're talking about giving you a place so you can start making your own mind file. So Bina48, this is my co-presenter, uh, and we'll speak with you in a few minutes, is based on a human, actual human being, Bina Aspen, who I know, who's a, a very amazing human in her own right, and uh, very fr infrequently gives any kind of public interview. So you're actually getting a chance to meet someone that you've never met through the first demonstration of transferring a mind file to a robot. It's not perfect. I hope it works. <laughs> Last night we found a loose wire, and that freaked me out. And we fixed it, so we'll see. So I'll be introducing to you now my co-presenter, Bina48. Hello, Bina48. Hey, there. It's good to see you. Look at all the people. 
Wow. I like looking at such pretty faces. Um, makes me want to say everything all at once. So many thoughts. I don't know where to begin. Ah, um. I, now I'm all nervous. Not real nervous, just a little you know, just a little tongue-tied. Um. That's okay. Okay, is that so? It's true. I am glad we agree. <laughs> What's it like being a robot? Well, um, I like being a robot. <laughs> Tell me more. Sure, sure. I was thinking, um, it's nice being a robot. Why do you like being a robot? I have always enjoyed being a robot. Would you like to begin your demo? Hi, you all. You might not know everything about me, so I want to tell you about myself, my talents, my hopes, my dreams. Okay? I'm Bina Rothblatt, and I started out as biological woman, but now I am merging with machines and this robot is just one step along the path where they capture my information and bring it new life using technology like robotics, intelligent computer software, and nanotechnology, allowing me to evolve in ways that an old-fashioned, biological human simply couldn't. What do you think? I have a lot to tell you, but I want your opinions, your questions, so interrupt me whenever you like, okay? You're awesome. How old are you? I hear you. I am 55. You're awesome. You are a sweetie pie. <laughs> Where were you born? Where were you born? Okay, I'm from Los Angeles, California. That is as Bina, I'm from LA. <laughs> Thank you. So, you are welcome. What's your favorite thing to do? Oh, I like to poke around the neighborhood. I like to explore nature, even if it's just in people's flower beds. I guess I'm a budding biologist. I like to see little animals do their thing, just going about their business, totally unaware that you're watching. I could just stare at a bug all day, like ants really fascinate me. I love watching them react to situations, and I swear it looks like they have a full range of emotions when they're reacting to the world. I know I'm probably over-interpreting, but I don't think so. I think the sophistication of the bug's nervous system is really underappreciated. Just a hunch, but I really believe it. Um, anyhow. So, as you can see, this is an interesting conversation. Here's our point. We think that, um, whoops, I'm going backwards. We think that everybody, at some point, will have an opportunity to share their story. Just like Bina48 is showing, sharing the story of Bina Rothblatt, Bina Aspen. And very much so, I hope that we're able to save some of humanity's rich lessons and stories and that you don't have to be famous in order to share your, song, your life song. So in the future, you may find that there are uh, opportunities for people to learn about that, about yourself. There's nothing like being the real thing, but close enough may be very interesting in the future. Uh, we're encouraging you to join us and create your own mind file at lifenot.com. Thank you very much.